Yo, what's up, family? My name is B. Walk, and welcome to Cop Your Coin. Now that the dust has settled in the marketplace and it looks like it's getting ready to make a turn, are you ready to gain some insight and get some game changing money in the cryptocurrency space? If so, you've come to the right place. Let me show you how to cop your coin in the fastest growing market in world history. Let's get it! Thank you for joining me. If you're anything like my family and friends, I'm sure you heard about the ridiculous highs that Bitcoin and altcoins were making, like Ethereum, uh, at the end of last year, 2017. I think Bitcoin got to almost $20,000. And then at the same time, I'm sure you heard about the recent lows that the market has been making in the last couple of months. Uh, Bitcoin, I think, went down to almost $5,000. $5, it's quite the drop. Yikes! <laughs> However, I can't do anything about the volatility. But what I can do is I can show you, number one, how to analyze this market. Number two, what tools to use to analyze the market. And number three, what exchanges to use so that you can put your money in and get it on and popping. That's what we're about here at Cop Your Coin. All right, and since you're here, I want you to consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and hitting that alert button so you'll know when fresh content is out from Cop Your Coin. All right? All right, let's get into it. Okay, now, so... Before we get going, every site that I talk about is going to be down and linked in the description. So feel free at any time to take a look at that. Stop the video, take a look at the description if you need more information or you need to rewind or something. They'll all be down there. Also, I'm not going to talk about Bitcoin or the origin of cryptocurrency. If you want me to speak about that, I can. But be, to be honest, it's been done to death. There's a lot of information out there. Again, that will be down linked in the description uh, for links that you can go helpful areas to check out. However, this is more for geared for the individual who is somewhat familiar and wants to understand how to make money. You know, when I first learned how to trade, trading in options and stock, uh, the teacher that had, that taught me was basically that you don't need to know all, all the whys and wherefores. You just need to know what's happening and how to be able to analyze market trends. And that's what I'm going to show you. I know some of you out there might be saying, well, why should I invest in cryptocurrency? And the short answer is Warren Buffett. Now, you also might be saying, well, isn't he a cryptocurrency doubter? And that's true. Yes, he is. However, what I want to point to is that he's considered by many to be the world's greatest investor. And in 1983, if you have bought one share of his then company, Berkshire Hathaway, at $483, you would have today, 30, 30 plus years later, over $260,000. Now, that's a lot of coin. Now, that opportunity doesn't come by, it's, that's a long time to get it. I know some of my millennials out there, different people are going to be like, oh, I can't, 30 years, that's a long time, be walk And I get it. But the reality is that you have an opportunity here with cryptocurrency, a ground floor opportunity, to invest really pennies on a dollar in a lot of respects and get that same type of return in 10 years or less. You hear me? 10 years or less, and that's the reality. Hello, Bitcoin millionaires. Okay, so when we're gonna talk about number one, analyzing the market, my background is in trading stocks and options. And one thing I realized when I was doing that is that there was three, actually there's three things that I realized. Uh, number one was that the market goes sideways much more than it goes up or down. And that's the case in any market. Uh, the second one is to be able to determine whether it's a bear market, meaning that the market is going down, or a bull market, meaning the market is going up, okay? Then you need to be able to analyze the trend. The third thing is, is to realize that you want to be able to be flexible, okay? And what I mean by that is some people get caught up in, I've got to be right, i got to be right. That doesn't mean anything. You'd rather be flexible and in, in, in the right direction than right, right? So that, that's the, if, you're, if you're in a position that's going against you, why stay in that position? That makes no sense, okay? So, so I'll talk about that here coming up here in a, in a minute. But anyway... First, we want to get into the tools that we're going to use. So we're going to talk about one of the tools I use, which is TradingView. And here we're going to go into the market. Okay, so I know I talk, talked about it, uh, that we're going to get in the, right into TradingView. But just a second, we're going to start kind of going big to small and big picture view to small to kind of get a, a way to analyze this market. And one site that I frequently go to, and, and real quick, anything I talk about, again, it's going to be in the description. So feel free to take a look. And write me a comment if there's something comes up that you didn't see. 
Uh, but one site that I start off with is Coin Market Cap, and what that is, that gives you a list of uh, the the volume as well as the circulating supply, the price, and the name of the coins. And what I really like about it is it's, it's constantly updating. Obviously, this is on a 24-hour change. Uh, it gives you the U.S. dollar price, so you can get an idea of kind of what those are. Uh, and then, then if you are looking at a particular coin, let's say for for Cardano, for example, and you click on that, uh, it'll take you to a more anal analytic view. So again, you'll you'll get a chance to see how that is looking on a line chart, and that's a little bit uh, less detailed than I like to use. Uh, but more importantly, you can go into markets. And what's imp impressive about the markets is it gives you an idea of exactly what exchanges this is being traded on and what the price is. Uh, that's important. So you can get an idea of kind of where you want to steer clear of and where you want to be involved in. So there's a lot of exchanges. I don't use them all. Okay. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in a, in a few minutes. Uh, but I start typically looking at here, kind of get an idea of kind of what's going on. Uh, and you see the various currency pairs. So now what happens is, is Cardano is traded in a currency pair. All of them are. Uh, all that means is that you can't get Bitcoins and Bitcoins. You need Bitcoins and dollars or yen or whatever. And I'm sure a lot of you know that, but just, just kind of keeping it 101. All right. So anyway, as we go back up here, let's get to uh, Trading View. Okay. So this is Trading View. And again, it's called www.tradingview.com. It is free to use. I use it. Uh, I use it for stocks and options. You can also use it for cryptocurrency. It's great. Uh, you can draw trend lines. There's these green lines that I've drawn right here. You can draw uh, supports and resistances. There's these lines I've drawn right here. I typically like to use a dark background, but you can use a white. Uh, I use candlestick, uh, Japanese candlesticks, to do my trading. These are. This is actually a daily chart right here. You can see. I can go into the hourly as well. But each candlestick represents a day and if I zoom in real quick you can kind of get an idea of what these candlesticks are like let's look at this one right here okay so this is a green candlestick uh, which means it basically opened here and closed here for the day the wicks which is the lines that you can see let me move the cursor off so you can see that that line here and that line here that tells you where the price actually traveled for that time period so if this was an hourly chart each candle would be an hour uh, but this is a daily chart one thing about the cryptocurrency markets, they do not close. So it's 24-7, 365, there are no holidays. So the market is always in play and you can always make a trade. Uh, so that's one thing to keep in, keep, in, uh, keep in mind. It's similar to Las Vegas in that there are no rules defined, you define the rules. If you don't define the rules, you will lose money. <laughs> Let me say that again. If you don't define the rules, you will lose money. Uh, so where we're here to talk about right now is just specifically about how I analyze the market. So again, I go to the coin market cap, kind of get a general trend of the market. Let me go back here real quick so you can see. Uh, like right today, uh, this is you can see that uh, this is the Cardano market. So let me go in here real quick. It's down. Cardano is down 9%. And you can see the general markets are down. So I can I can do a 24 hour change and, and sort by who's had the best runs. And so far we got a couple of top 100s. Tether's one. That's just the U.S. dollar though. And uh, Veritasium. I don't even I don't even buy that one. However, it's up eight percent. But most of the market is down, and that's fine. It happens over and over. Like I said, it's going to be volatile. Uh, but anyway, what I like about this is it does give you the, the opportunity to kind of look at a general picture of the market. As I said, then we go to trading, trading view, and then you can get a more specific approach. So you can actually see the price I, I action. So this actually is in U.S. dollars. Okay, so it gives me an idea of kind of how it's trading from that perspective. And right now we're about looks like about sixty seven hundred bucks. Uh, so we, this got a little ways to go. I, I will get into a little bit more analysis, technical analysis, especially if you guys want to talk about that. Again, leave the comments in the section. We, I'll, I'll discuss more about that. But kind of gives you an idea, kind of gives you an edge in when to buy, when to sell. And that's what I'm dealing in. Uh, the other site that I'd like to talk about uh, is uh, Coindesk. And Coindesk is kind of a new site. There's a couple other ones I go to, but we'll keep it simple to, for today. And Coindesk is good because it gives you a kind of current events, 
uh, what's going on in the market right now we have what would happen to crypto in a global market meltdown so that's uh, sometimes you have some opinion pieces but they also have some very interesting news cycle pieces like they'll tell you kind of what's going on uh, in the markets today so i i like to keep up on this if you're going to be involved in the cryptocurrency market you have to be on board knowing what's going on from day to day especially when you're in the market such as myself okay the last thing i want to talk about is exchanges real briefly so coinbase is a popular u.s based coin uh, uh cryptocurrency market exchange and it's the first one i started off with actually uh, but I have since moved on. I'm, I'm currently now with Binance, which is one of the larger exchanges worldwide. This is actually centralized in, I believe, Hong Kong. Uh, but it's very, they're very capable, and now you can actually you can actually uh, send fiat to Binance. When I first started, you could not. Fiat is U.S. dollars or whatever country you're in. If it's uh, the Swiss franc or you're in the Japanese yen, you have to change that to typically a. a change it to the cryptocurrency typically to bitcoin ethereum something like that and then turn around and buy some other cryptocurrencies what we call our altcoins altcoins are the, anything that's not the uh, top three basically that keeps it simple uh but anyway so this is another uh, another exchange that i use very good one uh, i recommend both of them actually uh, and I actually I'm, I'm signed on to a few of them and I'll go over into that as well uh, But I just want to kind of give you a brief in a uh, brief look into how we actually analyze the market and how I plan to Attack this market and so that you can follow along and make the money as I make it All right, so now that we've talked about the tools you might say be walk Down that's, that's all fine and dandy, but I don't know about this cryptocurrency thing, man I don't have the money the extra money to put into this and that's okay. I got you covered fam because I got a way for you to make extra money outside of your nine to five, three to five hundred dollars to be exact, as what I call passive income. Do you know that there's companies that will pay you for your opinion and just for a couple of hours on a week or a couple of hours in a month and you can make up to three hundred to five hundred dollars in that month? Yeah, it's true. I'm doing it and I'll show you how to do it too. Check out my next video. All right, so questions and comments. What questions do you have? What are you using to analyze the market? What has been some of the coins that you have used that have been, been profitable or successful for you? Uh, any comments, any topics that you guys want me to cover? Let, it, let me know down there in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond. And I'll see you next time on Cop Your Coins.